some fascinating reporting, specifically from Mike Silver, the San Francisco Chronicle. The hold-in is working for Brandon Ayuk because, in part, it's exasperating Kyle Shanahan. And I hadn't really thought about this, but when your entire football program is premised upon having a collection of guys who will roll out of bed and run through the wall, if you have one guy there who's not rolling out of bed and running through the wall, it can be an irritant. It can be a distraction. It can be something that makes it harder for you to implement and impose your will on the guys that you want to mold into a group that will, at the snap of a finger, go. And that's one of the things I think that between Kyle Shanahan and John Lynch, they've come together and created this band of badasses who will just go. They don't need to practice tackling in training camp and preseason and off-season workouts. They will go tackle you anytime, any place, anywhere when they're told to go tackle somebody. That's the mindset that these players have. And having a guy there that isn't practicing cuts away at that, chips away at it. I think makes it harder to get all your guys on board with the, the very stark on-off, on-off, on-off. And they flip it on and they go. And then they flip it off. And they wait, they wait, and they flip it on and they go. When they're flipping it on at practice and Brandon Ayuk isn't practicing, that becomes an issue. Now, where is he going to be traded? The Patriots reportedly out because Ayuk doesn't want to go there, reportedly. Browns, reportedly he doesn't want to go there either. The Steelers, I think, are the destination, but here's what I'm told. Here's where I'll give you a little bit of news, a little bit of something you may not have known. The Steelers aren't offering as much for trade and as much for money as Ayuk and the 49ers want. But if Ayuk doesn't want to go anywhere else and he doesn't want to stay in San Francisco, if he wants out and he wants to go to the Steelers, the Steelers may be the offer that he has to take and the 49ers have to take. The other possibility, and Kyle Shanahan alluded to this yesterday, there's still a scenario where he stays with the 49ers. And, and it's not crazy because at some point, and we've been making this argument for weeks now. Ever since I found out that there were five teams, five, that made offers to Brandon Ayuk before the draft, after the 49ers and Ayuk's agents decided, hey, go ahead and see if there's someone out there that'll pay you what you want. It was $28 million per year at the time, probably higher now. Five teams were willing to do it. They wouldn't, couldn't work out a trade with the 49ers. 49ers wouldn't accept whatever was offered. So at some point, the 49ers have to say to themselves, if there are all these teams out there that are willing to pay this guy what he wants and give us something of value in return for his contract, maybe we should just pay the guy and keep it. Maybe we should make him our number one receiver. Maybe we should trade Debo Samuel instead. Remember, before the draft at one point, it pivoted from possibly trading Ayuk to trading Samuel. I think as we get deeper into camp, that's less likely. But still, there's a scenario where the 49ers work this out and keep Ayuk because if him not practicing is irritating Kyle Shanahan, well, paying the guy and getting him to practice is the thing that will placate Shanahan's concerns. So we'll see. But the Patriots reportedly out. Browns, I think, hanging by a thread. Steelers may win this thing just by virtue of being patient, being very resolute with what their offers are. And maybe the 49ers end up taking less than they want. And Ayuk ends up taking less than he wants. And the Steelers have another receiver in the mix there. And then the challenge will be to get him up to speed in Arthur Smith's offense, A-S-A-F-P. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.